The Inari Medical Inthril Thrombectomy System provides a simplified thrombectomy solution for thrombosed arteriovenous fistula and grafts. The 8 French system includes the Inthril Thrombectomy Catheter and the Inthril Sheath and is designed to maximize thrombus removal and restore AV access without capital equipment. With the patient in a supine position, a .035 guide wire is inserted into the cephalic vein facing the venous outflow and is advanced past the thrombus and positioned in a patent central vein. Then, the access site is pre-dilated to help accommodate the inthril sheath. The sheath with the dilator is introduced over the guide wire and inserted at a 45 degree angle and carefully advanced until the dilator's tip is proximal to the thrombus. Once access is gained, the sheath funnel is deployed by retracting the black tabs into the proximal position. Then, the dilator is removed by twisting and pulling the dilator cap. With the sheath funnel deployed, the inthril catheter is introduced over the guide wire and advanced through the sheath's hemostasis valve by pressing the valve buttons. The valve buttons are then released to minimize blood loss. Under fluoroscopic visualization, the inthril catheter is advanced until the proximal element marker band is beyond the target thrombus. While maintaining the position of the inthril inner catheter, the outer catheter is retracted to deploy the element using a pin and pull technique. Then, the rotatable hemostasis valve is tightened to secure the outer catheter to the inner catheter. The inthril catheter is slowly retracted one to two millimeters per second until the catheter element's proximal radiopaque marker is aligned with the radiopaque marker on the sheath. Alternatively, the operator can confirm the element location inside the sheath funnel when the dark purple marker on the outer catheter exits the sheath. The inthril catheter is removed while pressing the valve buttons on the sheath. After the inthril catheter is withdrawn from the patient, the valve buttons are released to minimize blood loss. Then, aspiration is performed to remove any residual clot from the sheath by connecting a standard 30cc syringe to the sheath's aspiration side port until free flow is observed. The sheath's side port stopcock is closed and the 30cc syringe is removed. After treatment of the venous outflow, the inthril sheath funnel is recaptured by placing the black tabs in the distal position. After treatment of the venous outflow, the inthril sheath funnel is recaptured by placing the black tabs in the distal position. To remove the arterial plug, ultrasound guidance is used to gain a second access further up the arm in the vein facing the arterial inflow. A .035 guide wire is advanced past the captured funnel of the inthril sheath and into the arterial limb of the fistula or graft. Then, the second access site is dilated to accommodate a secondary arterial sheath. Once the secondary arterial sheath is placed, the inthril sheath funnel is deployed by retracting the black tabs into the proximal position. The inthril thrombectomy catheter is reintroduced into the inthril sheath and advanced past the secondary arterial sheath. Then, the inthril thrombectomy catheter element is deployed and the inthril sheath funnel is recaptured. Standard techniques are used to remove the arterial plug. After capturing the arterial plug, the inthril sheath funnel is redeployed and the inthril catheter is slowly retracted at 1 to 2 millimeters per second until the catheter element's proximal radiopaque marker is aligned with the radiopaque marker on the sheath. The inthril catheter is removed while pressing the valve buttons on the sheath. The valve buttons are released to minimize blood loss after the inthril catheter is withdrawn from the patient. Upon procedure completion, the inthril sheath funnel is recaptured and removed from the patient. Closure is performed using standard techniques.